What's howling, Lobos? Welcome back to La Mesa Live. Today's Tuesday, October 16th. I'm Lauren, and this is my co-anchor, Mikey. Please stand and join us for the Pledge of Allegiance. Put your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. The Teachers for Students dodgeball game will be this Friday, October 19th, in the gym at lunch. The teams that will be competing against the teachers will be the Wakandas and the 99ers. Everyone is welcome to watch. Speaking of dodgeball, do you enjoy playing volleyball? If so, you should sign up for our annual volleyball tournament tomorrow at lunch in the gym. You need a team of six players to participate. We hope to see you there. Hey Lobos, please join us every Tuesday at lunch on the outdoor stage for Tuesday game day. We have Giant Connect 4, followed by Giant Jenga, Cornhole, and more. Come to have a good time and win prizes. If you are participating in the eighth grade speech contest, there will be a mandatory meeting at lunch today in room 464. Please bring your prepared rough draft speech and your lunch. This is a howl out to all National Honor Society Lobos. Come tomorrow to room 507 at lunch for an informational meeting about upcoming events for this fantastic group. We will talk about our upcoming field trip, social events, community service, and our amazing special induction ceremony. Don't miss out on all that we are going to do with your awesome advisors, Mrs. Sandoval and Mrs. Burleson. Robotics practice will be today and Thursday this week from 3.20 to 4.30 in room 505. See you there. This is the final week of the quarter and the seventh graders lead the eighth graders in the tardy count challenge. As of this week, the seventh graders have a total of 748 tardies and the 8th graders have a total of 928 tardies for the quarter. The class with the lowest amount of tardies in quarter one will receive an extended lunch every Thursday in November. The PE department is also offering a reward to be named later. Who is going to win? With changes to the La Mesa staff occurring every year, we at La Mesa Live have made it our responsibility to keep you informed about who is who. Please enjoy this informat informative interview with one of our new assistant principals, Mrs. Davis. How long have you been working in the education field? I've been in education since 2001, so mm -hmm. quite Quite a, quite a while, and um, I've had various positions throughout my educational career. So you weren't always in administration? No. Actually, um, I started as a district behaviorist, and, um, and then I moved through a variety of different positions, and then I became an administrator. I was an administrator for five years at a, a, another school within our district, and then um, I applied to be an administrator at La Mesa Junior High. Um, did you always want to work in education? Absolutely. Um, my inspiration is to be of support to students academically, behaviorally, and social emotionally. So um, my, I think my calling, or I felt like my, my place of service to the community is in the, the world of education. Were there any other jobs you were considering? Yes. I think when I retire, or a very, very long-term goal of mine is to be part of FEMA, 
um, the Federal Emergency Management System team for you know our nation, and they do response to disaster before, during, and after. Which college did you go to? I attended um, Cal State Northridge and the University of Laverne. It's a very good college. Thank you. What is your favorite author? Oh, I have many. Um, Joseph Campbell is one of my favorite authors. Alan Watts is one of my favorite authors. And David White is one of my favorite poets. What is your favorite part of being a vice principal? Um, supporting, um, supporting students and staff alike um, and watching students be successful and discover all of the great things about themselves and, and watching students dream. What is your favorite thing about the place? The diversity. Just uh, the, um, the diversity, the, uh, the number of students and getting to meet the students and the exceptionally talented teachers. And what advice do you have for students at the Mesa? Don't give up. Don't be afraid to make mistakes and dream big. All right. Well, thank you for this interview and we will see you around the corner. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure. Today in history, on October 16, 1777, during the American Revolutionary War, British forces burned Kingston, the seat of New York's revolutionary government. Today is also the birthday of the bassist for the Red Hot Chili Peppers, Flea, or Michael Bozzeri, the name his parents gave him. He is 56 years old. The word of the day for today is facsimile. It is a noun. The definition is an exact copy. A simple sentence would be, we lost the original instructions for the project, but fortunately a facsimile had been made and we were able to use that. Something you should know about today. Today is National Dictionary Day. To celebrate, look up a word or two. Emerson and Magerson positively affirmed to Mr. Guidros. It reads, Mr. Guidros, you're the best teacher we could ever imagine. We love making smoothies in your class. Our spirit rises when we are with you. Hope you have a wonderful day. Also, we love your snazzy hair. Well, that's our show. Thanks for watching. We'll see you back here tomorrow. For Lauren and the entire crew of La Mesa Live, I'm Mikey. Have a trouble-free Tuesday.